I had the opportunity a few years ago, I would say 15 years ago, to meet an incredible guy, an incredible person probably you heard about. His name is Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Alexander Solzhenitsyn, you heard about him. He is he's the one probably because of whom communism collapsed. As you remember, he was, uh, he was in jail after the Second World War. He was in jail, he was in the Gulag, in the concentration camps in Kazakhstan for many years. After that he was freed, but he, had, he was sent to exile. Then after that he had cancer, but he survived all that. He survived the war, he survived the, uh, the prison, he survived the concentration camp, he survived cancer, and there was even a, an attempt to kill him. And he survived all that. This man, as you remember, was an incredible personality. When he was in a concentration camp, he began to write, to write stuff. And because he had no pen and he had no paper, he wrote in his head, he wrote in his heart, he wrote in his mind. And a few of his friends knew that he was writing stuff in his, in his mind. And uh, once they asked him, Sanya, Sanya was the, um, it's the name of Alexander in Russian. So Sanya, tell us, tell us more about what you're writing. And then Sanya was beginning to tell them what he had, what he had written in his, in his mind. And they told him, Sanya, this is just incredible. You're just an incredible writer. You have to become a writer. So Solzhenitsyn got to know about his own talents at that time when he was in jail by writing. He got some feedback from people who were with him in jail. And they understood that he was an incredible person, that he was a writer. And at the same time, Solzhenitsyn at that time saw all those people dying, millions of people dying in the Gulag, in the construction camps. He saw the evil around. And at the same time, he saw the greatness of people in a situation of evil. And he thought, I have the obligation to write about these people. I have the obligation to become the memory the memory of a country, of a people, of a people that have suffered so much. We had a catastrophe, a moral catastrophe, a political catastrophe, a cultural catastrophe that is called communism. But I have to write about all those people who have suffered this in their flesh. And then he discovered his mission in life. He discovered that his mission was to be a memory. What a beautiful thing. I want it to be a memory of a people that have suffered so much. And he became a memory by writing all the greatness of those people living in such an evil situation. The greatness of the Russian people themselves. He loved these people, he loved this country. He was very positive about, about the greatness of those guys in an atmosphere of evil. And I met Solzhenitsyn yeah, as I told you at the beginning, about 15 years ago in his house close to Moscow. And we had a very good time together. We spent about two hours together. And I can tell you, I was impressed by the guy because there was no bitterness in him. It was just the joy of having fought the right fight, the good fight, incredible joy, no bitterness, a smile, a very hard worker who spent his life writing, writing, writing in order to be the real memory of these people. So he had a mission in life, he fulfilled that mission in a beautiful way, and he died with an incredible smile, with beautiful peace, and with God.